الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شابتر 1 organizational behavior what's organizational behavior what's organizational behavior organizational behavior it's a study what we study we are studying behavior we are stu actually we are studying the influence of behavior individual behavior group behavior structure behavior on behavior within organization i mean we are studying our mboe behavior our chief goal is to apply uh, ob knowledge toward improving an organization effectiveness we are uh, we are going to apply ob concepts to enhance or to improve organizational effectiveness i mean organization ability to achieve its goals What's our focal points of OP? We will study motivation, either behavior and power, interpersonal communication, group structure and processes, personality, emotion and values, attitude, development and perception, and also work design. How to manage a big company? We have two approaches to manage a big company. Intuition approach, I mean to manage by experience, to manage by your gut feelings, explanation of behavior. And the other approach is systematic study. I mean to come and attend academic course, like our course. Now, it's a systematic study. Systematic study improve ability to accurately predict behavior. Why we are studying behavior and why should manager come and attend academic course? Because behavior is not random. And there are a fundamental consistency underlying behavior. And this can be identified and modified to reflect individual differences. What it means? It means that there are two approaches complementing each other. Intuition approach and systematic study. Intuition approach, me, approach means gut feelings, individual observation and common sense. And systematic study means looks at relationships, attempt to attribute causes and effects, specific event, and predicts behavior. It's two approaches. The two are complementary. Complementary means of predicting behavior. So, what it means? It means that systematic study complementing the intuition approach. Here we are examined relationships attempt to attribute causes and effects basis conclusions on a, a scientific evidence what's ebm uh, ebm it's evidence based management evidence based management bases decision on the best available scientific evidence to complement systematic study forces managers to become more scientific in the thinking. Evidence-based management. Ask yourself a managerial question, search for the best available evidence and apply relevant information to your case. Okay. Okay, how many uh, discipline contributing OB? Actually, OB it's not a symbol or pure discipline. It's a combination of many disciplines. OB it's not a symbol or pure discipline. It's a combination of many disciplines. Psychology, social psychology sociology 
and survivability. It's four decibel that contributing to OB field. And we are studying OB at two level. The micro level, we are speaking about individual, and the macro level, we are speaking about organization and the groups. Psychology. The first discipline that contributing OB, the science that seeks to major explain and sometimes change the behavior of humans and other animals. Unit of analysis individual contributions to OB, learning, motivation, personality, emotions, perception, training, decision making. Second, second discipline, it's social psychology. It's, it's an area between psychology and sociology that focuses on the influence of people on one another. Unit of analysis group contributes to OB behavior change, attitude change, communication group processes. And the sociology. What sociology? It's a third discipline that contributing OB. It's a third discipline that contributing OB. The study of people in relation to their fellow human beings or studies people in relation to their social environment or culture. A unit of analysis group and organizational system contributions to OB work dynamics, work teams, communication, power, conflict. And the last discipline that contributing OB it's answer biology, the study of societies to learn about human beings and their activities. Unit of analysis, organizational system, contributions to OB, organizational culture and environment. Okay, what about absolutes in OB? There are few absolutes in OB. Few absolutes in OB. Three absolutes. One, impossible to make a simple and accurate generalization. No generalization. Two, human beings are complex and diverse. Our personality, complex and diverse. Three, OB concepts must reflect situational condition. Contingency variables. It means that there are three absolute or three facts in OB. Impossible to make a simple and accurate generalization. Human beings are complex and diverse. OB concept should reflect situational. Few absolute in OB. People are different. People are different. No generalization. There are few absolute in OB. Contingency uh, variable mean that it's a situational factor. If X happen, it's uh, Y happen. Contingency variables. X and Y. Dependent and independent variables. Okay. If we convince a manager to come and attend academic course, I mean, if we invite a businessman to come here and join us to attend OB course, academic course, systematic study, and we convince him that he will study behavior and he can understand why people are acting like that. Uh, when he understands, he can manage or control or predict their behavior. So, when we finish our course, you will go to the exam. But the manager will go to his factory, to his company, to apply OB concepts. 
Is it easy to apply OB concepts? No, for sure it's not easy. He will face challenges and opportunities for OB application. One, responding to economic pressure. Two, responding to globalization. Three, managing workplace diversity. Four, improving customer service. Five, improving people skills. Six, stimulating innovation and the change. Seven, coping with temporariness. Eight, working in a network organization. Nine, helping employees with the work life conflicts. And finally, improving skill behavior. One, responding to economic pressure. For sure, effective manager. Uh, uh, we require effective manager all the time, but during the tough economic times or tough economic periods, we need more for effective management, especially, especially important during these tough economic periods. It would be easier to serve a manager to provide security during the in, instability of a recession. During a bad economic time, the mission of manager became more difficult to manage your company during these bad times. Responding to globalization, if you are managing a local company, it's a very easy one culture and one uh, range of uh, age and one nationality two religion, a maximum two religion, and, and, and. But when you, you, when you manage an um, international company or multinational company, it means that domestic motivational techniques and managerial study uh, and managerial style may not work there. It's not became uh, visible and uh, it's not uh, be effective to manage a mighty culture company. Three, managing work force diversity. Workforce diversity means the organization now are becoming a more heterogeneous mix of people in terms of gender, age, race, uh, uh, and uh, religion, and, and, and. So, it's difficult to manage a company with a different gender, different nationality, different race, age, ability, and disability, and religion. So, this diversity make our or our uh, company manager uh, his mission became more difficult improving customer service and the people skills for sure we need to satisfy our customer need to want by providing our customer superior value and satisfaction but to ask your MBOE to provide the customer high quality service, we should first satisfy their need to want. So, so we should first satisfy our customer need to want in order to push our MBV to provide our customer high quality service. And also, it's one of the challenges to improve people's skills. A good manager a child, facing a challenge to assess or to evaluate his MBE skills and to try to improve their different skills. It's one of a manager challenges. Stimulating innovation and the change. Now, if you are not creating something new, you will not survive. You will not survive. So. Uh, you should make your company more flexible, more quality improvement, staying competitive all the time, 
uh, I mean that you need you need uh, to create something new uh, in order to survive, in order to adapt with the changing environment. Coping with temperance. Sometimes our company facing a temperance. It means that our manager should be ready for that. Ready to cope with this unexpected condition like virus corona like what we are facing now uh, push uh, his uh, workers and the mbe to be able to deal with the changed and unexpected condition uh, he should make them more flexible and more, more adapted with the changing conditions Working in a network organization, the, the traditional shape of organizing, it, this is a hierarchy of many organizations level became a traditional, a tradition. So a manager must adapt their skills and the communication style to success in an online environment i am speaking about uh, online communication and also i'm speaking about flat flat organization or network organization more simple a very limited number of organizational level and simple communication helping mbes handle work-life conflict The line between life and work, it's very sharp. So one of the manager challenges to, to support his MBE to make a good balance between their life and their work. Improving his behavior. Now a manager a manager acting like uh, like a father he should say what's right and what's wrong what's acceptable and what's not it's a very difficult mission especially if he's managed a mighty culture or multinational company so he should teach his MBE ethics and um, it's a dilemma what's ethical and what's not in a different culture. Thank you, my student, and see you next chapter, inshallah.